ఐ ఎమ్ విత్ యూ ఆల్వేస్ ఈవెన్ టు ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ మాథ్యూ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ట్వంటీ గ్రీటింగ్స్ టు యూ ఆల్ ఇన్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఎయిట్ ఐసిఎస్సి ఫిజిక్స్ యూనిట్ సెవెన్ సౌండ్ పార్ట్ వన్ బిఫోర్ వీ గెట్ ఇన్ టు జస్ట్ లెసన్ సౌండ్ లెట్ అస్ లర్న్ సమ్ న్యూ వర్డ్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు జస్ట్ లెసన్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ వైబ్రేషన్ వి ఐ బిఆర్ఏ టిఐఓఎన్ ఎస్ వైబ్రేషన్స్ సెకండ్ వన్ మ్యూజికల్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ ఎమ్ యుఎస్ఐ సిఏఎల్ మ్యూజికల్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ ఐఎన్ఎస్ టిఆర్యుఎంఈఎన్టిఎస్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ మ్యూజికల్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ థర్డ్ వన్ యాంప్లిట్యూడ్ ఏఎంపిఎల్ఐటియుడిఈ యాంప్లిట్యూడ్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ లౌడ్నెస్ ఎల్ఓయుడిఎన్ఈఎస్ఎస్ లౌడ్నెస్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఐఎన్టిఎన్ఎస్ఐటివై ఇంటెన్సిటీ సిక్స్త్ వన్ డెసిబల్ డిఈసిఐ బిఈఎల్ డెసిబల్ సెవెంత్ వన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఎఫ్ఆర్ఈక్యూయుఈఎన్ సివై ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ వైబ్రేషన్స్ మ్యూజికల్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ యాంప్లిట్యూడ్ లౌడ్నెస్ ఇంటెన్సిటీ డెసిబల్ అండ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ వాట్ ఇస్ సౌండ్ సౌండ్ ఈస్ అ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ జస్ట్ లైక్ లైట్ లైట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో అ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ heat is also a form of energy so when you ask what is sound have to say sound is a form of energy we have learned that sound is produced by vibration in 7th standard so you have also learned about the properties of sound that help us to identify it so now in this class in 8th standard we are going to learn the properties in some detailed manner and also we are going to learn about some musical instruments so as i said earlier how is sound produced sound is produced by vibrations so you can see in this picture sound is produced by vibrations now let us discuss about the properties of sound one by one first one is loudness the loudness or intensity of a sound as we have learned depends on the amplitude of the vibration producing the sound so the loudness of the sound increases with the amplitude of the sound waves the amplitude of the vibrations of a body is a maximum displacement of the body from its mean position or position of rest so the greater the amplitude the louder is the sound and the si unit of amplitude is the meter when you beat the drum the skin of the drum vibrate so you have to you have learned the sound waves are carried by the vibration of the molecules of air so when the skin moves up and down with greater energy the molecules of air will move closer together with greater energy in other words the loudness of the sound is related to the energy of the waves
we have to measure the sound so whenever we measure something we need a unit so a unit for measuring the loudness of the sound is decibel so the loudness of sound is measured in decibel it is represented by db so the decibel scale is a little strange for all of us and for normal conversation when we speak normally when we converse normally with others the decibel will be around 40 when you speak louder then the intensity of the loudness that will be 60 db and some musical when you hear the music in a speaker or something the decibel will be 80 so here the softest sound that the average person can make out is 0 decibel on the scale a sound of 100 decibel is uncomfortably loud and a sound of 120 decibel can damage the ears in fact long periods of exposure to sound levels of given 90 decibel can damage the ear The human ear is more sensitive to high pitched sound, so we may find a still sound louder, more unpleasant or more irritating than a bass sound, though they may be of the same level in terms of decibels. The next topic we are property we are going to learn is pitch. The pitch of a sound is nothing but its sharpness or shrillness of a sound. Sharp sounds, for example, the sound of a whistle, have a higher pitch than heavy or a bass sound. For example, that of a big drum. So, a drum will give a bass sound, wherever a whistle will give a higher pitch. The bark of a pup has a higher pitch than the bark of a dog. So the, just like that, the voice of a child has a higher pitch than that of a man. I think you all would have observed that one. So in this screen, you can see the two types of waves. The first wave represents the lower pitch and the second wave represents a higher pitch. The lower pitch has a bass sound, wherever the higher pitch will have a shrill sound. Now let us see how musicians alter pitch. When musicians tune string instruments, they alter the pitch of the sound by rotating knob-like things around which the strings are wound. This change the tightness of the strings and hence the pitch. So the strings are also of different thickness. Please notice whenever you see the guitar or some string instruments. So the thinner one produces sounds of higher pitch while playing musician press different parts of the strings to alter the length. In the case of wind instruments, musicians change the frequency by, by blocking different parts of the pipe. This alters the length of the vibrating air column. The shorter the air column, the higher is the frequency. The third property we are going to learn is frequency. When a sound, when a source of sound vibrates it sets up vibrations in the air around it and these vibrations move the air as wave of compression and rarefaction we already learned about this the number of vibration that a source of sound completes in a second is called a frequency the number of vibrations that a source of sound completes in a second is called its frequency Naturally, the waves set up by the source of sound will have the same frequency. In other words, the frequency of the sound produced by a wave by the source is the same as the frequency of the source. 
So the frequency of a source of sound or the waves it produces is measured in hertz. We know that the amplitude is measured in meter. Just like that here the frequency is measured in hertz and hertz is a name of the scientist and it is written short as hz. 1 hertz is 1 vibration per second. Thus, if the source completes 500 vibration in one second, its frequency and the frequency of the sound produces is 500 hertz. So, in the picture, you can see the high frequency wave and also the low frequency wave. So, the number of vibration in the high frequency wave is more when compared to the low frequency waves. The next we are going to learn about timber or tone. So the timber quality or tone of a sound we already learned about this. It helps us to identify its source. For example, when someone plays the same note just as loudly, loudly on a sitar as on a piano, we are able to distinguish between the two. So the sound produced by a source is usually not of a single frequency. It has many frequencies mixed in different proportions. The main frequency which determines the pitch is called the fundamental frequency. If we call this F, then the other frequency present in the sound are integral multiples of the frequency. The fundamental frequency is called the first harmonic while the multiples of this frequency are called the second harmonic, third harmonic and so on. The multiples of the fundamental frequency are also called overtones. It is the number and proportion of overtones that add richness to a sound and help us identify its source. So this is very simple picture of what determines the timber of sound. You will learn later, especially if you have, if you become a sound engineer, that there are many other things involved. For example, how long a sound takes to die down. Now let us recall what we have learned in this video. The maximum displacement of a vibrating body from its main position is known as amplitude. The unit of amplitude is the meter. And second one we learn about the loudness. The loudness of sound is also called its intensity. It depends upon the amplitude and its unit is decibel. Third one the frequency. The frequency of a sound is the number of vibration made by its source in one second. Its unit is the hertz. And fourth one the sharpness or dullness of a sound is called its pitch. It depends upon the frequency. The fourth one, the main frequency of a sound which determines the pitch of the sound is called the fundamental frequency. Multiples of the fundamental frequency present in a sound are called overtone. The last one, the timber tone or quality of a sound depends on the number and proportion of the overtone present in it. Thank you.